Hi, we are from Infi Corporation. We are glad to be part of Synopsys Photonics Solution product launch. I am Radha Nagarajan, my co-speakers Masaki Kato and Sentil Ganapu. Today we'll present our perspective on silicon photonics development for large-scale manufacturing. The agenda for our talk, first the company overview, followed by silicon photonic design flow to be presented by my co-speakers. I'll present the company overview next. Infi Corporation is a global leader in high-speed data movement. We were founded 20 years ago in the year 2000, and we have well over 1,000 employees with a fairly large fraction, about 85%, in engineering. We have a very differentiated IP portfolio and more than half our business based on FY19 revenue is from cloud and we have a fairly large telecom business as well. And our core competencies are in high-speed analog, DSP, for both inside and outside data centers, TI transimpedance amplifiers, TIAs, drivers, silicon photonics, and packaging. We have a global footprint to support our customers worldwide and to attract talent. The global headquarters is in Santa Clara with design centers in Irvine and Westlake Village. Ottawa and Vancouver in Canada. We have design locations in Argentina, generally across Europe, and in Asia Pacific. We have sales and support in US, Europe, and Asia Pacific, and operations in the US and Asia Pacific. This is a chart from Light Counting in 2018, showing that the explosion of data and traffic driving the optical interconnect market. The market is projected to be well over $6 billion in 2020, headed to over $10 billion in 2023, with the cloud having a significant fraction starting at around 2019-2020. The cloud data center interconnects is indeed dominating the total optical interconnect market. So what does Infi build and supply to this ever-growing market? Inside data centers, we have the PAM DSP transimpedance amplifiers, drivers. We also supply retimers and gearbox in the ASICs offering. And once we get to the edge of the data center and between data centers, we've added the silicon photonics to the portfolio. Our first silicon photonics offering was four, four years ago. And in the last three years, we have been in volume deployment in the field. This is a DWDM optical module with an 80 kilometer reach for interconnecting data centers in a small regional format. In the telecom space, over larger distances, we offer coherent DSPs and higher end transimpedance amplifiers and drivers as well. Thanks, Radha. Hi, this is Santil Ganapati. I will go over the silicon photonics design flow using Synopsys Opto compiler platform at NFI. First, I will provide an overview of the flow followed by a walkthrough of the original flow and how we enhanced it by adapting Synopsys Photonic products. To make the silicon photonic design flow similar to that of an electronic IC design flow, we need to create a set of parameterized cells or P cells for each component that we are planning to use in the design. In this case, we developed the component P cells using Python. These Python based P cells or pi cells, as we call them, have all the parameters that we want to control for an instance of a component. 
Using Python helped us utilize the rich math functionality available in the open source libraries to draw the polygons for the components. We created a set of symbols for the components, which we used to capture the schematic view of our design. We utilized schematic driven layout flow that is supported in OptoCompiler Layout Editor tool. The placement of components rendered by PyCells is performed using connectivity flight lines. The waveguides that connect the components are generated using our PyCells or the curvilinear waveguide engine that is part of the OptoCompiler framework. For the flow automation effort, custom utilities were written in Tickle scripting language. Once the layout view is complete, back annotation of the parameters into schematic view is performed. For system level simulation, a netlist of the schematic view is created. Prior to the tape out, physical verification is performed using a combination of foundry supplied and custom rule decks. Now I will walk through our old design flow and how we improved it by using Synopsys Photonic products in the flow. In our original Silicon Photonics design flow, custom scripts were written to draw polygons that make up the components. Device level simulations are performed to ensure that the components meet our requirements. The scripts produce polygon information that can be read into an IC mask layout tool to create a flat layout of our design. A GDS2 file of the design is generated to run physical verification on the design prior to tape out to the foundry. In the new flow, we start with creating a set of pi cells for each component that we are planning to use in the design. Next, we create a set of symbols for the components. Using the symbols, we create a hierarchical schematic of the design using OptoCompiler Schematic Editor. Using the OptoCompiler Layout Editor, we generate the layout views for each component. The tool uses PyCell for each component to render the layout. Connectivity is passed on from the schematic view which is used in guiding the placement of each component. Curvy linear waveguide engine, which is part of the optocompiler, is used to create the interconnect waveguide layout that connects components on a desired mask layer. Once the layout view of the design is complete, critical physical parameters can be back annotated into the schematic views. OptoCompiler Schematic Editor can generate a netlist in the format desired for the target simulation tool. The post layout netlist is used for simulating the design and make adjustments to the design to meet the requirements. Once the layout implement implementation looks satisfactory, IC Validator Physical Verification Tool is used to verify DRC and DFM rules to ensure manufacturability of the design. Also, layout versus schematic check is performed to ensure that the physical implementation is matching our intent. In addition to foundry supplied physical verification decks, we write our own custom DRC and LVS checks to ensure any additional requirements are met for better performance and manufacturability. Once the design passes LVS DRC rules, we send it out to fabrication. Thank you. Thank you, Sensei. This is Masahikato. I'm showing Silicon Photonics design example using Synopsys OptoCompiler platform at Infi. I will walk through MMI, multi-mode interference coupler test structure, as an example. 
we have developed Python-based parameterized cell library. In this library, we have passive components like wavelength max, dmax, waveguide bend, taper, straight waveguide, MMI coupler, directional coupler, and grating coupler, as well as active components like high-speed modulators and high-speed PDs. The first step is to generate schematic on optcompiler schematic editor. Instance the components from the PyCell library and connect them together. You see grating couplers as optical IOs. We have an interferometer that uses MMIs at input and output. We have reference waveguide, which can subtract fiber coupling growth as well. Second step is to generate layout. We use Align Photonics devices features on OptCompiler layout editor. Move the reference grating coupler to the right position and select the components to align. Then we get this component aligned. Here we already align the reference waveguide. We can do the same for the MMI interferometer. Move the reference grating coupler to the right position. Select the components to align. Then we can get them automatically aligned. Like this. After that, we can make necessary adjustment on layout editor and back annotate to schematic. Shown here is the final layout of the MMI test structure. We repeated the same steps as I showed in the previous slide. We changed dimensions of MMI couplers on each block, so we can have a total of 10 different design splits. Thanks to schematic driven layout and Align Photonic Devices feature, we could finish this test structure layout from schematic in one hour, which used to take about half day in old scripting based layout. Shown on the bottom right is an example of measurement result from this test structure. We got expected spectra. In summary, we showed Infight's silicon photonics layout flow and a layout example. We have used Synopsys OptoCompiler for two silicon photonics product tapers. We verified that the devices from both work as expected. Thank you.